Hi, today I'd like to talk to you about the still range of patio cleaners, otherwise known as surface cleaners. The advantage and value that they will add to your cleaning job. They're easy to use and whether it be time saving or achieving a consistent result to the finish of the job, they are a great accessory to have with your water blaster. Let's take a look at the model RA101 which we'll use for this exercise. Looking at it from the top, we have two handles. Now these are really useful when cleaning walls, hard surfaces. We have an adjustment knob so we can increase or decrease the water flow. Really useful on sensitive surfaces. There's also an adjustment on the neck of the patio cleaner. So either lock the neck out or move it backward and forward to suit the job we're doing. If we flip it over and have a look underneath, there is a brush around the outside. Now this is a spray suppression brush. It's not necessarily there to do any cleaning. The cleaning is done by the two jet nozzles underneath. They're mounted on a bar and as the bar spins around, the nozzles will produce a nice consistent clean. Now for various models, there is an adaption tube which can be fixed onto the patio cleaner. It can also be used when extending and reaching higher areas or walls that you may want to clean. So let's put it into action and I'll show you how easily it will clean the surface and provide an excellent result. Just a little tip before we do get started. When using the patio cleaner, make sure that you move your feet, move your legs, dance with your patio cleaner because it will make the job a lot easier and easier on the body. Now adjusting the speed is also something that you may have to do, the speed of your cleaning, whether you have to speed it up or slow it down to get the right result. So a couple of questions you might have. Why is a patio cleaner more efficient than a single jet nozzle? We take a look underneath, we see two brass nozzles fixed on a high pressure beater bar and as they spin around they get good coverage and they're not always in one spot so they're moving around over that surface giving us a good consistent clean whereas if we have a single jet nozzle we're guiding that by our eyesight it's not so consistent and therefore we get little patches let's take a look at those nozzles a little closer up And on our power jet. So this is why the cleaning is so efficient and so consistent.